Right, so I'm just about to, to turn some 8BA screws and uh, I'm turn, turning these 6BA screws here into those 8BA screws there. I've just put a little pencil there just to show you the scale of these screws. And I've got one set up in lathe now if you want to stick with me. And uh, the head of this 6BA screw is probably only just slightly above 1 16th long so I'm gripping on a very very tiny amount and it's stuck out 5 eighths of an inch so you've got to be really careful um, I've got to get down to 0 0.086 diameter thousandths which is the root diameter of that 6BA screw so I've got a very very sharp tool in and it's exactly on center right I'll just zoom in a fraction and I want to take the top of them 6BA threads off then once I've got them uh, threads off I can then put my, my 8BA dine up down it to cut the 8BA thread I'm just taking two or three thousandths at a time off because you can see it's really stuck out quite a way for, for diameter and it's going to jump out if you don't if you're not careful so there's not much to come off so just take small amounts I've just come into the bottom of that thread now you can just see a slight witness mark on that screw so I know I'm getting down near to my diameter now I'm just taking a few spring cuts because because of the such small diameter it's got a bit of spring in it so I'm taking the same cut two or three times there and you can just see, well I don't know if you can see but I can it's taking just very very slight shavings off that screw just take a measurement of that so that's it, I'm, I'm down to point zero eight six now that's the OD for 8BA and because, I, because it's stuck out so far and I'm gripping on very hardly anything really I'm not going to chamfer it with a tool I'm just going to chamfer it with a little three cornered needle file and that chamfered edge is just to allow the die or the die nut or the die whichever you're using just to enter that diameter easier now because I've, I've not got, a, I haven't actually got a, a die holder for my lathe this small my die holders are usually bigger than this or they are bigger than this and um, I'm not normally doing this size work so I've just put this in my die holder, my small die holder, and it's an 8BA. And I've got a, a bolt in me in me chuck in my tailstock with a very with a flat end with a flat top on it. And I'm just going to offer that up to keep it square while I start the thread. Put a bit of cutting compound on and then uh, just follow up the, with the tailstock just to keep that die holder square just to get your thread started a few turns
and then once you've got it started and you know it's square you can remove tail stop and then just continue cutting and I've got to, I've got to put a quarter inch long thread on this and I'm just using me, the, the width of my die holder as a gauge because that's it's near enough to a quarter so when my thread comes through the die holder I know to stop and that's how I'm going to make them all the same So that's that's a, that's one of my ABA screws finished now, and it should come out similar to that one, or if not same. Let me get me a bit of paper to put it on so you can see it better. I've got another uh, eight, now seven of those to make now. Twelve in total. Right, that's. Uh, I'll continue making those, and I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Then bye for now.